Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about YouTube Red and advertising. What? Ever since the invention of the radio and then to the TV and to the internet, most media has been funded by advertising. The reason you're able to listen to songs on the radio is because of advertising pays for the budget and also the big record companies pay to play. I'm wearing my old, old Target volunteer shirt. What? I volunteered to do something while I was at Target, so I got a free shirt to advertise Target. I still like going into stores with this on. People get confused and I get asked a lot of questions. And Target did not pay for me wearing this shirt today. They could. It wasn't until recently that we actually had the opportunity as consumers to consume media without an advertisement medium in between. You could go back to like video stores, but they also have advertisements on the walls that are paid and and stuff so, so that doesn't really count not until you get to things like Netflix where you pay a fee and they say alright here's the media we have and what do you want to consume of it of course there's some CD under the table stuff that happens that we don't see like promotion of certain videos over other ones etc etc YouTube is pure advertising now the creator like me here can put up anything they want on, onto the internet basically for free. It, it does cost me time and money to do this because I have equipment that I use and, and this light over here which I'm trying out for the first time. Highlight. Oh, I shouldn't have looked into the light. Well, as long as as a creator I'm willing to spend the time to create, I can put it out there for people to see for free. And be, other than going to a show and seeing somebody in person, this is really the first time that, that we've been able to do that in history. It's always still been uh, backed by advertising. That's how Google and YouTube pay for the platform. It really doesn't pay for itself, so the YouTube Red is an interesting concept. Now the concept of YouTube Red going against ad blockers is kind of a misnomer. While yes, YouTube and Google would love to get some people who use Adblocker to pay for their service, it's just a bonus. See, what started at Netflix as being a, a streaming service where you could stream stuff for a, a set fee, it went on to Amazon Prime, which combined it with their shipping, their main business. Hulu has a really cool niche where they take TV shows that are new and broadcast them the next day. And now you can do that commercial free. But Google, in introducing YouTube Red, has a very unique opportunity. They have billions upon billions of hours of, of uploaded video that they never had to pay to, for, to create. And now with YouTube Red, they don't even have to worry about getting advertisement on that. But YouTube is owned by Google, so they even have a bigger opportunity. Some people forget that you can actually buy movies on YouTube. Now imagine YouTube Red with some Netflix type stuff where you have TV shows and movies and stuff which you can watch for free for the subscription service. And along with the music thing, which I'm kind of waiting to see how that works. For Google, YouTube Red is, is awesome. Because you, you have a ton of content that you don't have to pay for. Unlike Netflix and Amazon. They all tried to put Google Plus into it somehow. The potential for a Google subscription service is endless. Google has a suite of apps that are done online and imagine them starting to say well you can use those for two dollars without any advertisements in your Google Mail or anything else. Some people would pay for that and they would make more money doing that. Imagine that. Imagine a Google without advertising. That's a little scary. 
I'm gonna go outside and toss my tube around again. There it is. Thanks for watching.